Good day folks, my name is Sean and this is Air Photography. GoPro recently launched some new hardware, including a new updated version of the very popular 3-Way. It's now called the 3-Way 2.0 and it's got a lot of new design improvements. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So GoPro launched some new accessories a few days ago, uh, including the 3-Way 2.0. The original 3-Way has been out for quite some time and it turned out to be a very popular mount. So we're going to take a look at the new 3-Way 2.0 and we'll compare it against the original and we'll talk about what's all new with it. So let's uh, go ahead and we'll open it up here. So right away you can see that the new 3-Way is quite a bit different than the original, including this new wrist strap, which is actually a pretty good idea. You can see we now have a buckle mount on it compared to just the finger mount. It also has a ball head, which the original didn't have, so that allows you to spin the camera around quite easily. Just like the original, it has three folds, just like that there. But another really interesting change is the new tripod design. As you can see there, it folds out similar to the Fusion Grip. That's definitely going to make it a lot more stable. Now you will need a buckle mount to attach your GoPro to the new 3-Way. You would have got one of these with your GoPro. A lot of times they include a buckle mount when a product requires one, but they didn't with the new 3-Way. And basically it just slides into the receiver like that clips in and just like that there to change the position of that ball head we have a little latch there and that will allow us to spin it around to whatever position we want the three-way is basically a three-in-one product the first thing it is is just the handle gives you a nice grip for your gopro and as i already shown you it also works as a tripod and when the tripod's deployed you can actually put it in different variations it's also an extension arm to give you a little bit more reach now one reason why a lot of people like to use the three-way is it allows you to get those selfie shots without having a pole in the shot traditional pole sometimes can be a little bit difficult and you always tend to see them in the shot but if you angle this properly you can actually get a nice selfie without seeing the pole so definitely some nice improvements here on the left hand side I have the original three-way as you can see it's similar in size the length in which it folds out is also very similar the new three-way goes from 8 inches all the way out to 19.5 inches one upgrade that I am gonna like with the original the tripod was stored in the bottom you had to unscrew it flip it around, screw it back in. But the problem was this tripod was actually very flimsy. And if you had this sat down with your GoPro mounted and you're gonna capture a quick time lapse, even a windy day can sometimes jostle it around. It wasn't very secure. So that new tripod does look to be a lot more stable. And it's easily deployed. You don't have to unscrew anything. The buckle mount is a nice touch as well because it does allow you to easily go from one accessory to the other. So if you're a person who will be swapping your camera out to different accessories, it does make it a little bit easier. You don't have to mess around with thumb screws. Now, just like the original, it still fits inside the Casey, the GoPro Casey, quite nicely. So if you're a person who does use this as your everyday GoPro case, that will nicely fit inside. So yeah, that is the new GoPro 3-Way 2.0. Definitely some nice new upgrades. It's a little pricey at $69. However, if you are a GoPro Plus subscriber, you will get your discount, which does make it a little bit more affordable. Now, I'm going to save this for another video, but at the same time, they also released a new USB-C pass-through door. This allows you to plug in your GoPro and still keep it weather resistant. We've seen similar products from third-party companies in the past, but GoPro's done it quite a bit differently here. So we're going to save that for another video, so keep an eye out for that. Well, folks, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Just a quick look at the new GoPro gear. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and got some value out of it don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one